Hi guys! <laughs> welcome back to my family. If you're new, welcome to the channel guys. I truly appreciate all the support you've shown me over this little while. Please, we would love you to join the Soul Tribe by liking, subscribing, hitting the bell icon so you get notified when I post new content. Okay guys, so let's tap in Grand Rising. I hope you've had a beautiful night and let's see what's going on for this reading okay i have the moonology and the manifestation moonology cards coming out right off the bat so let's grab our tea let's grab our tree let's grab our drinks do whatever we need to do to get comfortable please use your discernment okay these are timeless general and collective readings so it doesn't matter what zodiac sign you hold just put yourself where you belong okay guys if you just want a more personal reading you can always hit me up so straight no sugarcoating bullshit. It is what it is. Cheers. Ancestors, I call you in and ask you to close any other door other than the highest white light. Let me light this palisanto again. Ancestors, what do you want to tell my beautiful collective? They keep saying, hold on. Okay, hold on. Your... You're almost there. Something's almost there, okay? So let's see what this is. Ancestors, with the manifestation and monology cards, what's the overall energy? What are we tapping into? A fiery climax is approaching and adjustments are required, okay? So yes, something is just right there. It's approaching, like I said, but adjustments are required in order to to have this whatever you're waiting for or whatever you've been patient for, should I say. Ancestors, thank you. Bottom of the deck is nothing, so I'm not going to take any more. So speak, have faith in your dreams, okay? So it's time to have faith in your dreams. A fiery climax is definitely approaching, and it's going to have you really in your feels. Okay, it is what it is, guys. Like I said, no makeup, no sugarcoating bullshit. It is what it is. But you're going to have to make the adjustments that are necessary in order for you to move forward in this next chapter. Because balance, spirituality, and practicality. Whatever is coming in, this is why they're saying, hold on, don't worry, you know. Breathe through the tension. Because you're balancing out your spirituality and your practicality. Something is coming in. You just have to make the proper adjustments in order for this fiery climax to come in and for you not to get overwhelmed by the situation okay have faith have faith in the process have faith in your dreams whatever you've been dreaming of whatever you've been working up in the background it's coming but have patience okay whatever you've been sacrificing for the greater good there is a uh, some kind of beautiful outcome could be a pisces and aries take it as it resonates guys Wow, it's the Empress in reverse. Now, somebody may have looked at you like you were very imbalanced, like you were just a baby mama, perhaps. Like um, you couldn't take care of yourself, maybe even insecure in some kind of way. Or this could be an external energy. Maybe somebody thought that you were infertile, you weren't able to grow anything. But it's the Hierophant in reverse, the judgment in the upright, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. No, there is an Empress in reverse. Could be a mother figure, a baby mama, could be a guy in a really bitch-ass fucking energy. Um, we're going to say over -masculated. You put it where it fits, you know your story best. Hierophant in reverse. Okay, these people or person uh, wanted you to conform to some kind of outdated belief system. This person could be of status of some kind. People could have looked at them as a role model in some kind of way before but now people are seeing that they don't want to conform to these outdated belief systems these it's like you know guilty by association somebody knows that somebody is not straight solid and legit but still they they support them they support this disharmony and this overbearing energy and this lack of growth and then they project onto people who are in the actual growth this is why judgment is there. The all-seeing eye sees everything, guys. Somebody really thought that they were going to get away with whatever they were doing. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. They are not. They are not. It's the year of karma, guys. So people need to buckle the fuck up because they think they can get away with stuff and they can't. 444 on my clock. The wheels are turning. Someone has lack of control. Somebody wanted to control you and now they are completely out of control. But they try to blame you for something. 
maybe their downfall. Maybe somebody tried to say that you were blaming somebody for your downfall, but we are responsible for ourselves. Even myself, I have to only take accountability for myself and where I am because I'm on my own. I have nobody to hold accountability to other than myself. And we all have to be that way, guys. Somebody is upset because they lack accountability so they can project and blame everybody else but themselves. And somebody wanted you to be like that. But there's lack of growth there, guys. And you have a lot of growth. It's mountains. Now, you could have had a lot of mountains in your way, okay, when it came to illusions. With the moon, in rever uh, with the moon it's like the somebody really judged you falsely and wanted to put some kind of manipulation over you or over other people so they could see you in this kind of way. This is why you had a lot of mountains. But you don't blame anybody because you know and you're grateful um, for where you are because you know if it wasn't for these kind of very imbalanced, very distorted masculines or feminines in your life, like those challenges, you wouldn't know how to continuously keep getting past those mountains. Now, you have the ability to move mountains for people, but if they're not willing to move a mountain for you, then you just won't do it. These people are putting mountains in front of you instead of moving out them. So you do what you have to do. And somebody is really upset because of the disharmony that they have within themselves. Somebody wanted to, you know, portray you as um, villainous, like, you know, uh, argumentative, but you're really just assertive. Somebody needs to get their shit straight and stop judging you for no power and reason. Get out of my fucking readings. Because <laughs> you have faith in your dreams, and there is a fiery climax approaching, but somebody is feeling inadequate because they may have judged you falsely. And um, somebody is doing sex magic on you, or somebody is keeping somebody trapped in sex magic. Wow. Wow. No, somebody either married somebody because of sex magic or they're closed off to the wifey because of sex magic. I always put it where it fits, guys. But we're going to find out exactly what's going on. But somebody acted impulsively. They didn't think long term. They didn't think longevity. They didn't think like what you were going to look at them like. You know what I mean? <laughs> somebody is just very childish. And it could be a feminine who thinks that they can get their way by, you know sex drugs and rock and roll money and shit that's just not the way because eventually people are just gonna have enough of it then you're gonna it's not gonna be anything somebody's trying to hold on to you because you are ascended master you have leveled up past all these people now you have a bird's eye view on situations and you really are mature about them if it's not your problem it's not your problem you mind your business you drink your water and you keep your chest out somebody is insecure about that because they're having to use sex magic to keep somebody um, stuck on them and somebody is trying to hold on to you whoever they're trying to do sex magic to oh my god this is not my business somebody has been trying to catfish you and that catfish is coming out in my readings because they're clearly watching and they're trying to hold on to somebody because they're dreaming about you that somebody is dreaming about you now you are manifesting a beautiful beautiful energy and it's because you reach you're reaching for the stars the stars is inside of us okay the universe is inside of ourselves so you're choosing to do that and somebody's having a rude awakening and that rude awakening is the empress in reverse male female doesn't matter this is a baby mama just the baby mama they can have the ring but they have no value okay so they're a pushover they're a doormat and you are guided you are a teacher and that's why you're protected by all the gods and somebody has to reflect there's a lot of people reflecting seeing the truth that somebody has been trying to hold on to you while they're still in a relationship with somebody and that's fucked up and in the winter time this copycat got fucking busted Somebody was playing in your face trying to be you so that somebody can love them more. And under this full moon, you have manifested a brand new heart, a brand new love. And you are fucking completely motherfucking unstoppable. It is what it is. Somebody needs to get their shit straight. It needs to leave you the fuck alone. And it's a sister. Somebody who called your sister. Somebody who helped like a sister. This is somebody that you really did help. Like, you helped them with their kids. And they played you. You helped them with their bills. I don't know. I'm telling you, you moved mountains for somebody and somebody was just trying to put a mountain in front of you with illusions. Yeah. And drinks. Now, somebody could be feeding somebody poison in their drinks. OK, meaning like blood magic, some kind of ritual shit. So be careful what you're drinking. Somebody wanted them to celebrate. Now, somebody is realizing that the reason they're being held hostage is because of some kind of drink, some kind of poison, some kind of sex. 
I don't know, guys, but somebody is bored of the catfish, and the catfish got busted. Whoever was playing in their face, a lot of people know the truth. They could be watching you on Facebook, TikTok, IG, YouTube, whatever you got going on, guys. But somebody is not who they say they are. And that's why somebody's bored because the truth is coming out under this new moon in Aquarius. You have to be authentic. And if you're not authentic, well, then <laughs> this one is <laughs> the players getting seen under that full moon. I just fucking said that. Somebody wanted to portray you as a player. And you chose to walk away from the players because you're not you're you're not dealing with it. And the mask is falling off underneath that full moon. Somebody's doing a spiritual retrieval. If you haven't, please do. Because it was a beautiful, powerful energy. So do those spiritual retrievals, my beautiful collective, my beautiful, beautiful clients know to do the spiritual retrievals. And I hope you took your moon water out before 4 a.m. Somebody is <laughs> seeing that you're choosing to stay away. <sighs> From an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or because you are Gaia. You treat your body like you treat Mother Nature. And there was an undercover brother or sister. Somebody who was too close for comfort that was hating on you. And the facts are coming out. Somebody could have even been on a DL, guys. They really wanted to get with you. I don't know. Something's, something's weird. It's like, I don't know, really suspect. True love wins. See that? You are a master healer. You really were guided into real love, okay? You had awakening. You realized that your friends, your family members, the lovers perhaps, was just playing you. They were not good for you. And that's why tower is happening. And you stayed away because you had this knowledge enough to know that somebody did want to come home, but they were being held hostage. And you were like, I'm not waiting for anybody. But there is something coming in. So hold on because you're the high priestess. So you have this enlightenment. You knew already that something was really wrong with the situation. So you just eliminated yourself from the whole equation so that this catfish can, be got, can get busted. Pisces. Now, it could be a Pisces, born February 19th, between March 20th, if that helps any. But somebody has been watching you and seeing you manifest from the heart chakra. You're not stepping on nobody. You're not using anybody. You're definitely not getting anything from anybody. You're doing it all on your own with the source, with God creator by your side. And this sister is fucking upset because they, they have to watch their back. Because whoever they went up against and used, manipulated... These people see you on your sole purpose. It's an emperor. And this emperor is coming towards you. And that fucking empress in reverse is really upset. Because they're very negligent. They have no confidence. And somebody tried to portray you as this. And this emperor is seeing that that person, that empress in reverse, mother figure, auntie, cousin, sister, brother, whatever this person is, girlfriend, baby mama, guy, hmm, they're envious, pitiful, spiteful, and justice is prevailing. Balancing of the scales. This player is getting played. It is what it is. Guys, mask off. People are seeing that you are super high vibrational. Love always wins. And it's about true love, internal love, self-love. That's why the narcs are getting caught up because you do respect your body like you respect Mother Nature. And these people are just have no self-love. That's why whatever is meant to be is going to be. And people see that you are the true high priest that somebody wanted to copy you and pretend that they had some kind of values. But really, they were just envious and pitiful. Now somebody's bored of their lies. Because they see that you have really, truly grown up. And this emperor that you're going to be with, this new energy, is very grown up. That's judgment, guys. Somebody is going to watch you be very successful and happy. <laughs> and somebody knows why you've, you're closed off. As the wifey, you don't deal with sex magic or third parties. You're protecting yourself from spell work that a Libra is doing on you. Libra is September 23rd to October 22nd. Take it as it resonates, guys. Yeah. The sun is illuminating. God creator source is illuminating the truth. Somebody is in hot fucking water because they're a fucking slacker and pretended like you were a motherfucking slacker. Somebody's getting caught the fuck up. And you got the power in your hands to slay these motherfucking dragons. You see that? You're slaying them all. And somebody is really fucking insecure because they wanted to portray you as the motherfucking dragon. <laughs> yeah you're the princess you saved yourself 
You see what I mean? It says you can be your own knight. You decided to save yourself. You knew somebody was going to have to save themselves as well because shit, man, there's a lot of fucking shenanigans going on. It was like you were looking at people sideways like, why? But you had to be grateful that you couldn't make sense of it. Like, why would people do this? Because you're not like those people, so be grateful, okay, guys? You don't know why people be trying to keep people stuck. If somebody doesn't want you, stay the fuck away from them. But... Somebody tried to villainize you. On my floor is the emperor in reverse. Now, there could be an emperor in reverse and an empress in reverse who have tried to tag team to go up against you. And now you have an emperor in the upright who wants to go on this life purpose with you. You have a, a new contract with somebody, but there was spell work. But your high vibrational energy, you just, it can't touch you. And you're guided by the ascended masters. I don't know if you could hear that. I don't know what the fuck that was, but that was, that was a loud, loud noise. Now listen, you're slaying demons, you're slaying dragons, and you chose to be your own knight in shining armor. Feather, okay? It says, think first before you judge. You thought before you did anything. And these people villainized you, but they didn't think before they did this. They didn't think that it was going to come ricocheting back at judgments there twice. It says you can always rewrite the story. <laughs> That's exactly what you're doing, rewriting the story. Thorn. It says weaving together the crown you deserve. Somebody, wow, a, a crown of thorns? So you went through a lot. But you are really weaving together your own crown. Somebody is about to come towards you and balance something out because and make adjustments. There is a fiery climax. That Pisces energy, it's like a twin. So if you never really met your, your forever person, you're about to meet them. And somebody has really been trying to jeopardize this meeting of souls. But I don't know. It's like I guess somebody was waiting for... I don't know, it was like, I guess somebody expected you to be waiting for some kind of knight in shining armor to save you from this, these people. But as the high priestess, you don't need anybody, but look. Look, Feather, these people, they were taking your energy. It was three witches, three groups, three men, take it as it resonates. They don't have to be... You know, whipping up shit. It's just a gossip or something. But they were trying to use your energy because you were light as a feather. <sighs> That's why you decided to let go. You didn't judge these people. You knew that they were just envious and pitiful. And you were bored of this. You made sense of it. And somebody is making sense of it too. Overall energy. It's this player. Maybe you were a thug, you know, now you're a thug angel. I don't know, maybe you have a thug angel watching over you. Whatever's meant to be is going to be, guys. Somebody really tried to sacrifice you, and now they have to sacrifice that thug life because they fell in love with you. Somebody loves you. The sun. You see what I mean? God creator source is enlightening a situation so that you can bask in the beauty of life. So you are choosing to heal, not you know, to continuously keep going through trauma, but to be okay in the joy, to be able to handle the joy, to be able to be at peace in that joy, because sun is here twice, guys. Somebody wanted you to have unwelcoming change and setbacks and delays, but that's okay. Those delays have made you a better person, made you into the person you are today. So no hate. It is what it is. We... As long as we can get out of this sex magic and manipulation and binding. Now, somebody may have gotten in a relationship because of that, a partnership, even a marriage, guys. But it was all because of temptation and deception. Somebody is drowning just above water to their head. And it was all because of spell work. And because you're really speaking the truth and raising our vibrations and people are growing up. They don't have a fucking choice, guys. Because everybody wants to get out of this closed in, trapped and frustrated feeling. And the only way to do so is to be honest. Remember, if you allow the injustice to happen, then you're just as fucking guilty. You're guilty by association. Somebody's trying to send you an SOS because you are the genie in the bottle. Somebody really thinks that they can, you're lucky, you're their lucky charm. Like somebody really should have rubbed you the right way if they knew these things about you because as much as you gave to them you gave to them freely because you love them 
you wanted to. Friends, family, acquaintances, lovers, sister, brother, auntie, uncle, whatever. Acquaintance. It doesn't matter. You gave to them out of the kindness of your heart, freely, without expecting anything in return. And these people really did a number to you. Out of jealousy, they wanted to sacrifice you because they knew that you had a fiery climax approaching and that you had faith in your dreams and that there is definite reunion coming in. Like I said, you may know this person, you may not know this person, but somebody looks at you as wish fulfillment. And they want to start some kind of family with you. Now, what you're going to have to do is eliminate, sacrifice some kind of blood tire in inner circle because that inner circle is trying to feed off of you. Now, you're not judging these people as you're eliminating yourself from them. You just know better. You have learned from the past traumas to rewrite your story. And in order to rewrite your story, you have to get yourself out of the situations and environments that broke you. You cannot heal in the environments that broke you. And because you chose to do that, you are ready to receive and you are open to receive beautiful things because you are on your life purpose and you don't deserve to be by yourself. There's a Leo Aries Sag that's coming in. <sighs> but this person feels like trash right now. They feel discarded. They feel that they discarded you and threw you away instead of throwing away their blood tie family. I don't know if somebody wanted to start a family with you, but they sacrificed you for a love affair. And now they're having to reflect that they may have projected some nasty ass energy on you and then sacrificed you for this thug life. There was some kind of dirty little low-down love affair, secret affair that somebody was trying to hide from you and then you found out and now they're stuck being used with karmic and that karmic is being run through. Look, it was all less <sighs> and somebody and you're about to meet a soulmate. Okay? So you're about to meet a soulmate. And somebody knows that there's a lot of deception. Like it's been all nothing but chaos. And you're finding someone with similar interests. You know, you don't want somebody who's rich or handsome. You want somebody who's loyal. That's it. Just one for you. And you will know. And somebody is feeling like you're very cold and detached to them because they are, they are attached to some cold-hearted energy. But somebody wants to apologize. They want forgiveness. They got a fucking headache because they know the truth. And they want, they have no choice but to express the truth. Somebody has a headache because they know an emperor is about to express the truth towards you, how they feel. Heart of the deck, it's negotiate. Somebody's about to come in bargaining with you or begging you because you are the real, real holy field. Somebody has been trying to portray themselves as you for a very, very, very long time. But now somebody sees that it was all out of spite. You're getting justice and this player is getting played the fuck out. I'm telling you, they are played the fuck out. Tossed all the fuck around. And somebody said that you were like this. <laughs> somebody just acted without thinking. And now everything that's in the dark is coming to light. And you used your intuition to get yourself out of this way before you even knew the truth. It's the page of swords. See what I mean? Way before you knew the truth, you got the information. <sighs> You may have forewarned somebody, but they didn't believe you because they thought you were crazy. They didn't believe your psychic gifts. You told them about a queen of swords in reverse. Now, somebody could have looked at you like you're a fucking bitch because you just fucking ratted somebody out on their spell work and manipulation. But it is what it is, guys. That's why somebody's stuck. And the only way to get unstuck is to actually be honest and to have the acceptance. See what I mean? You got the five of wands. Somebody wanted to poison you with lies, poison somebody with lies when you were wish fulfillment and that's why somebody is so upset, they're so worried that the next person or the person that you're going to choose to have a soul tie with, you're going to be with them forever. This is a mother figure that is upset that you got out of poverty or that somebody is like, what? Somebody is so fucking insecure so they wanted somebody to make you feel like you were trash. It was a whole group of women that were trying to go up against you, are trying to go up against you because they're very fucking detached, cold-hearted. And they're mad that you have a real soulmate, a, a relationship, a, a romantic partner that wants your forgiveness and to tell the truth. And that truth is going to affect these two individuals that have been trying to go up against you. Five of Wands, they're the... Oh, my God. Everybody is seeing that they are fucking poisonous as a motherfucker. Nine of Swords. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They are being haunted by their own subconscious. 
Why? Because you got out of a purgatory, prison of the mind, and, and reclaim back your power, or pentacles, or because somebody is, you're getting everything that was taken away from you? I'm telling you, that fire climax is approaching. So don't worry about it. Just hold on. Something is right at the edge, okay? So it gets a little messy before it gets better, guys. Don't worry. Adjustments are just required in order to make the right changes. And what it means is letting go of the karmic energies, the codependencies, the addictions, the obsessions that will in reverse. Somebody is obsessed, obsessed, and they can't stop fucking watching you. Six of swords, but you were guided away by the ancestors just because... You are not at the same vibration. You're not in competition with these people. These people are abusing their fucking power and whatever power they have. Hierophant in reverse. You see what I mean? They're abusing their power. And, and they're going to lose everything. And they're going to see what it feels like. King of Wands in reverse. Somebody was a fucking tyrant, a bully. They just wanted, you know, to be a player. And, well, they got that lifestyle. And now they're hating on you because you have no attachments none whatsoever queen of cups in reverse king of swords in the upright you spoke the truth against somebody who was very manipulative they had no love no this could be a guy a girl cancer scorpio pisces there was somebody in in somebody's head and then hooked them up with this jezebel or this mother to team up to go against you but they can't put any manipulation or magic on you because you're standing in your power it's like you have authority over these souls because these souls don't have any fucking authority. They're too much in the dark, guys. And you are of the light. You have rain over the light and the dark. But the fact that these people don't have any souls, they're walking soulless, of course you can always, like, you're always going to win against them. You're, like, creating your own world. And you're making sure that everybody around you is good you're moving mountains for people and you're eliminating the people who are just move, putting mountains in your way heart of the deck and you're doing it with a lot of authority see that wheel of fortune you're getting the wheel of fortune and this very emotionally unstable person female male who makes up it's the, the mental patient guys they're mad because they're stuck with these third parties trying to win something but they ain't winning shit and they're mad they can't celebrate your demise, two of pentacles. They can't celebrate you juggling star in reverse they, because there's no healing. Ten of pentacles. Wow. See, these people wanted to take your legacy. They've been after you for a very long time. But you went into hermit mode. You evaluated. You seen. And in order for you to have a reunion or a union of this soul, you're going to have to heal. And you can't heal. With this family, this corporation, this group of people from the past. And you know it was a whole group of people trying to use manipulation or magic because after the storm, something beautiful is coming in. And it's free from judgment and free to love. You're free to, and it says new birth, a guarded vigilante. Somebody's coming in to guard you. Okay, they see you as a vigilante, like you protect those who cannot protect themselves. You do not sit back and allow injustice to happen because you know how it feels. There's a big world out here, guys. Remember, we are very blessed, okay? Free from judgments, free to love. You are free to love. You are wish fulfillment. A lot of people see you as wish fulfillment. And if people think that you are not, well, then they get slayed and stuck in a trap. I'm telling you, you're putting a lot of spirits, a lot of dark entities in this fucking back into hell. And it is what it is, guys. And that's why you're being repaid because you are valuable. Ten of swords here. In reverse, you have got out of a mental entrapment, purgatory, prison of the mind, and you don't really care that people have betrayed you. You forgave them because you have a lot of value to yourself and you have legacy. And legacy is how you treat people, you know, how they think of you when they're alone. It's not what they say about you to their fucking friends. It's really how they feel about you. And, and you clearly are, the, are a trailblazer if people are copying you this much and then getting upset because you're completely fucking unbothered. It's not your life. It's not your business. You're doing what you need to do, and it's clearly upsetting a lot of people. So overall energy, St. Francis Oracle Deck Ancestors, one message. What do you want to tell them? Bring this all together because Empress Bella is on live, and you know I need to watch her. Number 18 reduced down to a 9. So there is a definite ending, guys. It's number 22, and number 22 reduces down to a four. So it's about stability, guys, and harmony. That fourth house, happiness, home, foundation. 
Okay, number two, no, 22, master number. So prisoner of mourning. A pi uh, prisoner of mourning. Disappointment, legacy, and lost love. You have given your emotional energy to others and may now be feeling let down, disappointed, and vulnerable. There is a, there is confusion around you as where things went wrong as when you fall in love, you love completely and you pour all into your relationship. But be assured that this issue is not with you. The timing for this union was just not quite right and somebody better will come along into your life and the anger and hurt you feel now will seem a million miles away. Love will soon come into your life again and the negative feelings you feel now will disappear. The tide is about to turn. Didn't I say, oh my God, this is amazing. Didn't I say just hold on because something's about, the tide is about to turn. You may not know at what stage you need, uh, stage at this stage what you need, but you certainly know, know what you no longer require. Your vulnerability at this time is understandable, but do not let negative experiences hold you back. <laughs> Remind yourself that you are a beautiful soul and you deserve better. Okay, guys, you deserve better. So let's get the subconscious message. I love you guys. Look, somebody has romantic feelings for you and is coming in to express it. Because remember, if they want you, they will make it known. If they don't want you, they will make it known. Okay? Don't try to, like, read in between the lines and stuff. No. Men are really fucking simple. Okay? So do I, surrender my, um, do I surround myself with people who lift me up? Ask yourself that, okay? So the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they, do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? Today's soul action. Make a desired list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself with and clarify if there is anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? <laughs> I love you guys. I hope this resonates. I hope this gave you some clarity today. Let's get one message here. Have faith, okay? Move by faith, not by sight. I love you. <laughs> it says, may trust sturdy your fear. Don't worry about it, guys. Have trust. And you won't be fearful. Somebody is fearful because they don't have trust because they don't trust themselves. You trust yourself. You're loyal. You're a good-hearted individual. You're a kind soul. But you're not a nice fucking person. It is what it is, guys. People need to differentiate that because somebody is getting the karma for coming up against you because they underestimated you. They took you for granted and they abused their power and they had lack, lack of discipline and then they called you, like, out of control. Now you straighten shit out. <laughs> I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I will see you later. Don't forget how valuable you are, okay? You have a lot to bring to this world and that's why you have to have faith in your dreams even when there's mountains there you know how to get up that mountain and you know how to give people tools as well okay so we don't win them all guys but we definitely learn every battle Mwah! love you guys bye <laughs>